All right, here we go. We're gonna get the first can. All right, this one is what they call wild albacore tuna, pre-Fukushima, actually. All right, that's the wild. It says best by August 2014. Now there you go, what's that telling you? In a previous episode, we were in Japan on March 11th, 2011. It started to get scary. We are experiencing a earthquake. The earthquake originated offshore and caused a tsunami. Japan's seawalls were no match. Arising at the Fukushima nuclear plant, and there is a high risk, they are saying, of a leak if the situation isn't resolved in the next few hours. But this situation wasn't resolved, and still isn't. We were told three partial meltdowns, don't worry about it. Now we know it was 100% core melt in all three reactors. Um, Japan is by orders of magnitude many times worse than Chernobyl. Tip goes like the little Dutch boy. All of a sudden we have cracks in the dike. You put a finger here, you put a finger there. And all of a sudden new leaks start to occur and they're overwhelmed. Literally making it up as they go along. We're in totally uncharted territories. You get any nuclear engineering book, look at the last chapter. And this scenario is not contained in the last chapter of any nuclear engineering textbook on the planet Earth. So they're making it up as they go along. And we are the guinea pigs. Radiation has been contaminating the Pacific ever since and will do so for the next century. The sun beating down on tropical waters powers the weather systems of the globe. Moisture evaporates from the warming ocean and rises to create great storms. The winds generated out at sea sweep inland across the continents. As they travel across the Sahara, they create the biggest of all sandstorms. So air currents powered by the sun carry wet air to the middle of the continents. Winds blowing across the Indian Ocean collect moisture and sweep northwards towards the Himalayas. As the air rises, so it cools. All contaminated. The water it carries condenses into clouds and then falls as the life-giving rains of the monsoon. The problem is, all these clouds contain cesium-137, which is water-soluble. CNN says even the wine is contaminated. Contaminated with cesium-137. It used to be good. Now it's radioactive, man. Now it's in the soil in my farm. Oh man, I used to like grow vegetables and feel really good about my soil. Now, radioactive isotopes in the soil. Dude, I'm getting a straight up Geiger counter, man. Straight up. Let's get to Mount Tam. And Birdman test flies his new Sport 3. And he launches well.
Nice job, Birdman. Let's get back to my house. What's up, y'all? I got this uh, scammer calling me. They've been calling people today, apparently, telling them that there's been a $399 charge on the credit card, and it was Microsoft that charged them for computer services, okay? And if you want a refund, you gotta call these guys back immediately, otherwise you aren't getting your money back unless you call them back right now. But I know these guys are scammers, I know, because I have this app on my phone called RoboKiller, and it's already told me that these guys are a scam. And if you don't have RoboKiller, check it out on iPhone or pretty much any smartphone, you can get RoboKiller, and pff, it's awesome. It records the phone calls, and uh, it acts like whatever you want. You could have a Russian dude answering your phone, you could have anybody. Thank you for calling, how can I help you? Oh no. This is an important oh, call hey, to inform uh, you hey, that your card has been charged $399 I mean, I mean, hold on, for one year PC tech now. support. If you would like to cancel the subscription and get you money back then. Microsoft ain't gonna call you with some weird computer voice talking like that. No way. If Microsoft did do that, it would be in proper English. This one is not even in proper English. So, that right there is a clue. So, I'm not gonna like fall for it. In fact, I wanna mess with these guys. I wanna waste their time. I don't wanna give them any time to be able to steal from people, so let's mess with them. Cause I have time to do it. It's raining, I'm a painter. I got nothing better than to like serve the public. So let's do this, man. Keep this guy on the line as long as I can. I'm gonna try and get through every one of these fart noises. And there's a lot. We'll see how far we can get. Let's go. Oh, excuse me. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's call you guys. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Hello, I'm trying to get my refund. I just got um, a call from you guys saying that my credit card was charged and for $399. Oh, yes. Yes, yes you have been charged for $399 for the maintenance and for the protection of your computer. So our computer company decided to refund you the money back to you, okay? Okay, so how do I get the money back? Oh, you cannot get your money back. You, you said I was getting a refund, right? No, we don't want to give you the money because you are paying with us, right? Oh, so I'm, I'm paying you? you? You're playing with us? No, I'm paying you. I said paying? Oh, you hung up. I, I had, had more. I wasn't done. Don't hang up. I wasn't done. Hold on. I, I'm not finished. So I called them like maybe 50 plus times yesterday and um, it's the next day now. I'm calling every single one of them. My favorite is Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi. Hi, Michael. Thanks for helping me so many times today. So I got this new app now, right? Because I figured if they can call with a different number and change it all the time or whatever, then I can too. Spoof card. <laughs> Spoof card is the best, okay? This thing right here, you can make your number look like any number, okay? You can call whoever you want. You can make it look like you're calling from any number. You enter it in, uh, it's the greatest thing ever. So then when I call, the caller ID is gonna look like I'm calling from this number, you see? You can record the whole call, which is great. I'm having a lot of fun with that. And uh, you can change your voice. <laughs> So that you sound like a different guy, or you could sound like a girl if you want, if you're into that sort of thing. And uh, I've been messing with all of them. <laughs> Plus, there's even background noise, so you can make it look like you're in a casino, or the cops are after you, or there's sirens and stuff. Because I really don't like people trying to steal my money, man. Is that your job to steal money, man? You need to change your job, Michael. I don't know, paint. I paint. You can paint houses. What's wrong with painting houses? So, uh, maybe a new career for Michael. Hello? Hey, this is Microsoft, right? Is this Microsoft? Oh, hold on. Wait, hold on. It's so good to waste your time so you can't steal money from other people. Do you know that? 
I'm having so much fun. You are the fight man. I am. I, I am the fight man. I totally am. And you're not getting my money. Just so you know. But you can have all my farts. Who am I? Who am I? I'm the fart man. Man. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> Ah, uh, that never gets old, guys. Oh, we're totally going to see Mark right now. He's been uh, going through chemo and stuff, so we're gonna see how he's doing. And uh, see what's up with that guy. Maybe we'll go hit a mission after that. But right now, we might be going to uh, a little spot. Go get something for Mark. Oculus Go, man. What's going on, man? This is what it looks like inside the headset. It's wireless virtual reality. Wow, this is my new hospital toy. Nice, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be beyond cool. Nice. Way cool. Right on. Oh, this is cooler than watching the computer. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, this is obviously shot with your 360 cam? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like oh, this is stupid, sir. <laughs> Pretty cool, dude. I'm stunned. <laughs> Let's get to Mission Peak. <laughs> What's wrong, man? No. I don't know. <laughs> That right there. Dude, that's... The 49ers. Really... What if you forgot the milk, though? Or yeah, some eggs? Uh... And I launch. Oh man! Let's get to Columbus, Ohio. This is kind of like the Bourbon Street of Ohio, it seems like, man. Or at least of Columbus, I don't know. But it's pretty cool. Bob and I are going to start Limitless Properties, man. This is Italian village. Okay. Let's go look at some houses, man. Huge gay community out here, teams. Yeah, I was, last night, I was surprised. Like, you know, we got some gay people holding hands. I'm like, okay. But I've, but I've heard that Columbus yes. is more progressive than any other city in Ohio. We're going to buy them and rent them out. Some of them look great. Others, not so much. I think we will buy this one. And maybe this one too. And this duplex, man. Let's get back to San Mateo, to the bowling alley. Solve for president. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Now it's Cheryl. He's throwing eight in a row on us, so next team to kill us, step on up, I guess. And Cheryl throws number nine in a row. And there goes number ten. Oh, 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 o
there's 11. One more and she's got a 300. We always ball against these people. What the? That's how you end up with a 299. Nice job, Cheryl. Let's get to Ed Levin. And I launch. And Birdman launches. And I fly over the students just for fun. And I land well. And Birdman lands well. See you later from the radiated Earth area. Limitless has been a Saul Good Productions presentation. This is Saul Good saying, just say no to nuclear energy, bro.
Peace. Out.